All right, I'm finally going to attempt the one minute, 10 minutes, one hour, 10 hour challenge. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be editing a trailer and we're going to see how much I get done for my one minute challenge. I'm going to edit John Carter, which was actually voted by all of you guys over on my Instagram. Link is in the description. I'm going to edit Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl. For my one hour challenge, I'm going to edit a trailer to Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. And then for my 10 hour challenge, I'm going to edit Treasure Planet. We're going to see how far I get. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to grab, hurry up, don't lag on me. Okay. I'm gonna grab custom thingy down here. Next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to want to go to the file and just find anything that has sort of action-y stuff. Just quickly grabbing whatever I can. I'm just gonna throw it down and then mess it and mess around with it just a little bit later. Ah. Oh. <sighs> there we go, I'll just place it there. This is what we have, guys. Yes, that's our trailer. But once I go into it, actually spend a little bit more time on it, actually making it as good as it can, this is what it looks like. So right now we're going to do Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, which is perhaps one of my favorite movies of all time. Same idea, but this time we have 10 minutes. Starting in 3, 2, 1, now. Slapping down a custom. And the reason why I throw down a custom is because I want to be able to just move clips around freely. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of Final Cut is that everything groups together, so I can't move it wherever I want. <laughs> Now, I guess one of the advantages I have for this one is that I've seen this movie like 10 million times, so I know exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, I'm going to grab some swing skeletons because they add a really nice vibe. That moment looks pretty darn cool. We might use this, I don't fully know. And then it's just like, you're in one. Pirates the Caribbean. When you wanna get like some beats and stuff like that, listen to the music and throw down some marks like this. Just a very quick way of finding those marks again. Um, I had another one, let me just quickly throw it up here. Ooh, that's nice. Ah! I wasn't able to do much, but we certainly did so much more than we could have in a minute. If we were to play it as it is, this is what we would get. You best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Okay, and if we were to see this trailer in its full completion, this is what it would look like. Aztec gold. The heathen gods placed a terrible curse. We took them all. We the cursed men, Miss Turner. Ask him where it is. I shall take you to the Black Pearl.
all right guys new day new video so i do apologize i know the setup is a little bit different can't use my camera because it's a dslr it can only shoot for 30 minutes at a time so now i'm shooting on my computer and that way i can shoot for an hour and then do the 10 hour challenge in a bit and what i'm also thinking of as a style is i'm thinking of instead of going like really dark we're going to make it more like an action comedy kind of kind of trailer and we're going to get started right now. Good. Twice the pride of a four. You know what's funny is like I know exactly what he was going for with that line, but it just sounds so weird. It's already been 10 minutes and all we've been doing is grabbing clips. All right. We got to make a story out of this. So the reason I've been grabbing like the little bits of clips is because I'm hoping that from these I can get inspired as to what the main message is. So I think I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it to like a minute long kind of thing. Okay, we're halfway through our time and I'm still trying to figure out like what we're trying to make of this. Yeah, there is no freaking way I'm getting this trailer done in the next hour. Not a thing. All right, so I have like just over five minutes left. So I'm going to spend the time and just throw in some, some clips to throw in a bit of a montage. Oh, it scared the crap out of me. I didn't get nearly as much done as I would have liked. Um, it, again, this took a little bit of figuring out. I was trying to think of, you know, how can I take like some of the story and stuff like that from the movie and tell it in a way that I would like to tell it. But I mean, essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking a trailer and advertising the movie as something that it's not really doing it for the sake of the memes. Anyways, let's take a look at what I have thus far. General Kenobi, the negotiator. You're smarter than this. Apparently not. Okay, it's definitely going to need a lot of work, but once I've given it the time and care that it absolutely needs, this is what the final result looks like. General Kenobi, you are the bold one. My powers have doubled since the last time we met Count. Good. Twice the pride of the four. Wait a minute. How did this happen? We're smarter than this. This whole operation was your idea. Do it. I shouldn't. This is where the fun begins. Hello there. So oh, uncivilized. Not to worry, we are still flying half a ship. May the force be with you. Do you have a plan B? Another happy landing. And in a moment, we're going to cut to where I'm actually going to do the 10 hour challenge right now. All right, guys, another day and another trailer. So I have my timer. I'm going to begin work and I'm going to catch you guys in 10 hours, starting in three, two, one, go. 
So the reason I like putting music down first is for inspiration, just so I know like, okay, what should I talk about? Where should the story go, etc. I really like this music. It's very, like, it's not dark. It's not too dark, at least. It's very adventurous. So we start with the first part, which is very light, and we get introduced to Jim and stuff like that. And then we get into the actual meat of the story. Are you saying this because it's the right thing, or is it because you really want to go? I really, 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 really want to go. And it's the right thing. You know what I feel like watching right now? King and I. That's such a good movie. One of the hard things about trying to make these trailers, of course, is that I'm basically recording the audio from the movie itself and so sometimes i'll try and get the dialogue um but then there's like music and sound effects over top of that and so what i'm also hearing a lot right now is that the music from the clips and the trailer music i'm using right now uh they tend to clash so that just makes things even more difficult you know normally in the marketing team they basically get all the files so they would be able to to sort of extract just the audio I did decide to go for a pretty long break and we currently have five and a half hours left. We already did this the first part. We got enough stuff in place. We're back and we have four hours until our deadline. Now, I might be wondering why am I grabbing clips from the very end of it? It doesn't really matter where you grab the clips in, in terms of where it is in the movie. The key thing is you just don't want to spoil anything. Actually, if I didn't take that break, part of me thinks I probably have enough time. I could have made like two trailers. Honest truth is that I don't have any expertise in graphics. I could simply put up a text, but I don't want to do that. We have two hours and 45 minutes left. Maybe you guys are looking at this and you're like, well, James, like the trailer's only a minute long. I keep things short and simple and to the point for the sake of keeping people's attention and stuff. Actually, I originally wanted to get some custom music made for this trailer, but I end up just not doing it because, well, I don't really have a budget. But if you want to give me a budget, sign up to Patreon. How's Jim doing? Much better. I know he had some rough spots earlier this year, but I really think that he's starting to turn a corner. Mrs. Hawkins, any more slip-ups will result in a one-way ticket to Juvenile Hall. Jim, I just don't want to see you throw away your entire future. Certainly a lot of trouble over that odd little sphere. It's, it's, it's Treasure Planet. Hello, can you hear me? Young Hawkins will be working for our cook, Mr. Silver. You got the makings of greatness in you. But you gotta take the helm and charge your own course. Stick to it, no matter the squads. Um, I make you proud. Yeah.
already i think we've won like i think we made a much better trailer than what disney first did all right so what do you think of the trailers do you think that i did a good job making these trailers for the movies again it's kind of difficult because you have to imagine like i'm basically recording these movies from like disney plus or whichever i'm using my phone and grabbing audio segments from youtube so it's not the best quality you know i wish i had access to like the original audio files the original video files and such so i can do a lot more manipulating for the sake of telling the story so it also goes to show you that in order to do a complete job in order to do the best job that you can regardless how much talent and skill you have you need the time. Let me know in the comments, what trailer did you like the most? And if you want to see me do this challenge again, whether it's with other trailers or I'm thinking of doing AMVs, but let me know down in the comments if you wanna see this series again. So make sure you like this video because a lot of time and hard work went into this video. So I'd really appreciate a like and please subscribe. So I do got great videos coming out every week or every other Friday. Depends what's going on. I'm also going to be posting exclusive behind the scenes sort of commentary and uh, more clips of me actually making these videos only for my Patreon. So if you want to become a Patreon supporter, support me as an artist and hopefully like allow me to have a budget so I can start doing more stuff with the trailers or other projects in the future. So sign up to be a Patreon, link is in the description. As I always say, good luck with your projects and I will see you next time.